Do you know what's so amazing about today? Today is a day that has never happened before. Like how awesome is that? Like literally, you get to do whatever you want today and you are creating new experiences, new memories that have never before existed. The moment that's gonna happen five seconds from now is something that's never even happened. Boom, it just happened right then. And I'm able to do with it whatever I want. I can take time, mold it in my hands, and make it of, make of it whatever I want. That's why time is such a finicky thing. There's not too much of it, but there is too much of it. It's like I need more time, but I really don't need more time. I should be able to do all that I need to do within the time allotted to me, though it seems like an impossible task. But it's just an amazing thing that we have this world. Like God has given us this world, this earth that we can walk on every day. He's given us our physical senses, our spiritual senses, that we can go out and experience the world, that we can touch it, we can feel it, we can smell it, we can see it, view it, hear it. And we can feel it through the spirit and that we can just like know of it and like be connected more with God like on a daily basis. And I love it. And this life is meant for us to become something great. Like we're not here just to struggle in life. We're here to become something great. Though life truly is a struggle. And I wish I could wake up every day with a positive and optimistic attitude and just jump in on my bed and say, Woo! It's one more day! What am I going to do today? I'm going to go do something awesome. It's not always the case, though I wish it could be, but I'm not perfect. We don't live in a utopian society or world, but I'm going to settle for what we have because what we have is pretty dang awesome. And there's a scripture that I really like in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 17, that says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Now I believe like in scriptural terms, like visions and dreams, those are something that prophets or inspired people have. You know, when they see a vision of the future, what's to come, or a vision that's explaining something to them or warning them of impending danger. And that is a tool that God uses to communicate with us. He communicates through us through our dreams, through visions, through the feelings of the Spirit. But I like to think of dreams and visions too as like kind of aspirations of goals. Like when we're young, and we're taught to be as little children, right, in the scriptures, to be sweet and innocent. But when we're young like them, like little kids, like we have these dreams, we have these goals, these aspirations. aspirations, And like sometimes life just gets in the way and life will beat us down. And life will literally like take the breath out of us and make it where we forget those things. But we can forget those things. We got to remember our goals. We got to remember our visions, our dreams, and to have them, have dreams, have visions, and to go out and do all that we can to be able to achieve them. Or life really isn't worth it, you know? I don't want to just struggle throughout life and just doing like the bare minimum and just scraping by. I want to go out and do great things. Not for my own self-glorification, but to give all glory to God. And be able to help to build up His kingdom the best that I am able to. To go out and get the job that I want. Attend the school that I want. And do well, the hobbies that I want to do, you know? And life, sometimes it takes terrible twists and terrible turns. And... Things aren't always going as planned, but I just want us, everyone, all of us, to hold on to those visions, those dreams, to never forget them, those ones we had when we were kids, and to keep aspiring and to keep growing. Every day we should grow and become better than we were the day before. And as we do that, we draw closer to God, and we dream bigger, and we have greater visions, and we're able to do even greater things. With God, all things are possible. I know that without a doubt. No matter what happens in life, he's got our back. As long as we turn to him, he will always, always, always be there for us. Because I know as a loving father of my own children, I'm always wanting to be there for my children. And if I'm an imperfect person and feel that way, God being perfect, how much more amazing is it that he at doing those things for us, his children? Love you all. Take care. Let's go make some great things happen today.